Hello, I'm Lauren. And I'm Ben. Thanks for joining us on our channel. This weekend we are rolling toddler free. We are having our little baby moon for we welcome our second one. And we're spending the weekend in Lafayette, Louisiana. We're staying at Poche's Fish RV Fishing Camp. Yes. Yeah, Poche's RV Fishing Camp. And this is the second time we've been here. We came two years ago, um, right after our first one was born. And we were coming to Lafayette for a Jason Aldean concert. And we did not hesitate to book this place because we enjoyed it so much the first time. So Ben obviously is getting set up here so we can do a little bass fishing. He went out and took the kayak this morning and got a few bites, uh, a lot of small ones. But we're hoping that we can catch them here off the bank and then we're gonna head into Lafayette for some food and adventures. So we spent a little time fishing this morning around the banks, just kind of walking up and down in between the ponds. Uh, what were we using? Oh, um, wacky worm. Wacky yep. worm. We each had one. I had like a purpley color one. What was yours? Like a... Uh, watermelon. A watermelon. Um, I did end up getting a few bites, which was pretty exciting. And it was my first bass and my first time catching something not on a popping cork. <laughs> so it was a lot different experience, but I'm glad Ben dragged me out even though I got a little sunburned. Uh, it was still a lot of fun. And then we hopped in the car and drove from the RV park back or into, into Lafayette. There's so many restaurants to choose from around here, but um, we went to one of my old classic favorites. I went to graduate school here at ULL for a couple years, so we always hit up the Samurai Sushi, uh, which is just like in the middle of a shopping center tucked back in the corner. You'd never know it was there and it's delicious. Um, it was getting very busy after we sat down so it's obviously very popular around here but we're super full from that now we're gonna go back relax get cleaned up and hit up the jason aldean concert tonight but first we're going to take you for a little drive and walk through a poche's rv fishing camp There is a very tiny pool and a small splash pad for kids and a playground. All of the spots, except for these few to the right here, back up onto one of their ponds, which is nice. It's always a good view. There's a tiny place here on the left that looks like they had snowballs and snacks and stuff, but we ended up not stopping there. There are a few cabins you can rent, and three of them are right here around the lake by the RVs. And they do have online booking, so you can pick your spot, which is always nice. It's been pretty weird, I'll get with it quicker. <laughs> Like the longest day in history. <laughs> there are five ponds um, that you can fish in and they all have different regulations but they give you a pamphlet when you check in with all that information you need. But you can only kayak fish out of one of the ponds. 
Their website also says you can bring your own canoe or kayak at a cost of $5 per day, but no one ever told us anything or asked us uh, to pay anything extra. It's truly a beautiful RV park and we do love coming here. It's our second time and we would probably stay here again in the next time we came to Lafayette. All right, we got all cleaned up and we're heading to the Cajun Dome to see Jason Aldean. Yep. Should be a fun time. That'd be awesome. wore us out because I don't think we got home till after midnight. Like. <laughs> so, <laughs> it took forever to get out of the parking lot of the Cajun Dome. It was free parking though, which was nice. Because if we had gone to see at New Orleans at the Smoothie King, we would have probably definitely paid like 20 bucks just to park the car. Sure. But um, we just grabbed dinner at the Cajun Dome last night. So this morning we went and got Starbucks for breakfast. And now we we have a very busy day planned. We're not sure if we're gonna make it all in, but we're our fingers are crossed because we don't have to revolve around nap time or a screaming toddler. So we're heading to Parish Brewery, which is actually in Broussard. It's about 30 minutes from here. Um, it's one of our favorite beers they've got is Ghost in the Machine. I will not be partaking in a lot of drinking, but Ben is going to um, try, some th try some new beer and probably look at the merchandise section and get some stuff to go home. And then we're gonna go to BJ's restaurant which is in Lafayette um, we love this place if you haven't had a bazooki from there oh, we don't have one by us so we're very excited and then we're going to hit up Billy's Boudin and grab some Boudin to go home which is great they that that and also best stop if you're in the area looking for some it's the best and then there's another brewery called Bayou Tesh and that is the last hope <laughs> there's a pizza place there um, I think it's called like this the flying saucer um, so we're hoping to get just some dinner there to pick up for later, but lots of football on today, too.
um, the mornings have been really nice here. It's actually kind of cool. It's a little humid today. I'm very much looking forward to the cold front coming in tomorrow for the next week <laughs> and actually being in like the 70s and 80s for fall here in South Louisiana. But we're packing it up this morning and heading back. It was a really great weekend. Ben is of course on the water trying a little more kayak fishing. He did go out every day. He did catch probably like 10, 12 bass overall, nothing huge. I think the biggest one was maybe like 11 inches or something like that. But I'll put some pictures here of what he caught. But you know, if you're here at Poche's, definitely let us know if you've had any luck, what you've been fishing with. And um, we're taking a break for a little bit with RVing. Ben's going to Grand Isle next weekend for a fishing tournament. But, um, Thanks for watching and subscribe if you liked the video and we'll catch you on the next one. What you doing, making me feel